Oh. You think he's stuck up? Thank you. Wait. Where's my spaghetti? Hey everyone, it's been forever. I have missed all of you and I'm back with the Promise family. I know y'all have missed them as much as I have and I'm sorry I've been gone for so long, but I'm back. But without further ado, let's get into today's episode because I missed Fern so, so much. So in case y'all missed the last episode because it's been a really long time, Fern threw a party and she hooked up with Mr. Jacob and she's just on top of the world right now. She's feeling inspired. She feels like nothing can go wrong and it is Saturday. There's no classes so she's living her best life right now and we are here in the comments because she is hungry and Mr. Tatum invited himself over so hey Tatum. Let's actually go greet him and like maybe we can talk about the party about yesterday and like maybe propose this crazy scheme as in like maybe throwing another party or something and then he's like oh fern you are crazy i mean yesterday's party was wild i feel like they're all tired from yesterday's party but fern's like nah let's just throw another party oh <gasps> what's happening over here hold on i see mr jacob with who I don't know who that is. Well, I mean, he's over here just hanging out, but she's hungry. First impressions are strong. Nothing to do about it. The Sim just isn't inspiring any kinship in Fern. Ooh, with Tatum? You've known him for a... Oh, you think he's stuck up? Oh my god, Fern. Girl, okay, just go eat. Lunch opens at 12 p.m. We're so hungry, though. I mean, might as well get water. <gasps> really has to pee. Okay, girly. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. Let's go pee. Let's go order a classic grilled cheese. And then I'm thinking about what we can do today. Maybe? Oh my god, Noah! You know about me and Jacob? Hey, I heard you and Jacob are friends now. You're getting more popular. Clearly, you're a good person to know. Thank you, dad. I mean, you raised me, so love you, dad. <laughs> If Jasper has time, we can invite him over to campus because she kind of wants to see her brother because she hasn't seen her brother in forever. And I mean, we would invite Willow, but let's be real. Willow has been really, really clingy. I mean, I know she misses her babies because two of us are gone now, but I feel like Fern has seen too much of her mom lately. <laughs> but she hasn't seen her brother in a while, so maybe we'll like visit him someday. But I think this weekend, maybe we can go on another date with Jacob if he wants to. Or maybe he can ask us out. That'd be amazing. That'd be like honestly ideal. Is he still out here actually? I'm curious. No. Okay, he's not out here. Oh, but there's a debate club going on right now and Sonia's part of it. Where did Jacob go? I wonder. <gasps> Speaking of the devil, Jacob! Hey Fern, it's me, Jacob. You gave me your number the other day. Do you want to go on a date? You read my freaking mind. Well, tomorrow's Sunday, so let's hang out tomorrow afternoon. Sounds good to me. See you tomorrow, Fern. Oh my god! He read our mind, Fern. He's gonna want to hang out with us tomorrow. She's so excited. I'm so excited for her. Oh! <gasps> Speaking of Jacob, he's right here, but she doesn't know he's there. So let's just go hang out with Tatum because, I mean, he invited himself out, <laughs> actually. Oh, there's a debate showdown. We'll end in one hour. Where? Y'all are just standing up there looking all lost and confused. Is it supposed to be here? Oh, well, okay. But look how happy Fern is. She's like, oh, everything is amazing. I love uni. I finally feel like I have the control of my life. And I feel like things are amazing in my life right now. So Fern is so excited. And I'm excited for her. I mean, I don't really want to go back to the dorms. <gasps> mom mom you did this last episode stop no mom no okay i'll visit you okay i'm gonna spend all of my saturday visiting you she is making it very very clear that she wants to see us and i get it it's been forever since we last saw her so mom i'm taking my whole weekend off just for you <laughs> 
Oh my god! Our roomies came along. They wanted to meet our parents. Okay, let's see. Jamming together, Fern thinks being around a certain sim is jamtastic. And she's like, it feels like old time seeing her mom. But mom, I'm here. I know you've missed me. And I decided to finally visit you. It's been a long time, I know, mom. But here are my roomies from uni. They decided to go on a road trip with me too. So this is Sonia and this is Tatum. And then Willow's like, oh, hi, you're Fern's friends. Oh, Tatum, you're looking very handsome. Are you and Fern, you know, dating? And then Fern's like, mom. You are so funny, uh, but no. Me and Tatum are just roommates. We're just friends. Yeah, he's not my boyfriend. And don't tell dad he's my boyfriend either because he's not. <laughs> But speaking of dad, where is he? Oh, he's inside. Okay, let's go say hi to our dad because we haven't seen him in forever too. I haven't been in this house in forever. <gasps> oh my god. Hi, Judy. I've missed you. Judy, how are you? Yes, your big sister is making a surprise visit. How are you? I've missed you so much. Hold on. That is so cute. But yes, I'm finally visiting because mom would not stop bothering me. Also, this TV is very loud. I'm sorry, I'm going to turn it off. Butter, hi, Butter. I missed you. Oh, dad just totally ignored you. Oh my god, dad, where are you going? You're not going to even say hi to your, I mean, one of your favorite daughters. <laughs> hey, dad, I've missed you. I've been doing very good at uni and I finally visited because mom wouldn't stop bothering me. But hi, dad, I've missed you so much. It's been forever. And he's like, oh, honey, I've missed you so much too. How's classes? How's everything? And she's like, you know what, dad? You know me, I'm doing so good. It's almost final season, but I'm doing great. It's been amazing. I've been loving uni. So they're just finally getting along because it's been so long since she saw them. And then Noah's like, ooh, who are these two? Who are these two? And she's like, dad, they're my roommates. Don't worry, I'm not dating anyone. Definitely not dating anyone. We can ask Noah if he wants grandchildren. Let's see. I wonder what he would say. New grandchildren? Fern asked Noah whether or not he would want grandchildren. I mean, I feel like he would love to have grandchildren, but he still thinks that Fern is still a little bit too young to have grandchildren. He wants her to finish her degree before like thinking about all of that. So right now, I feel like Noah would rather Fern not have children. So he's like, yeah, Fern, you know what I told you before you left? I want you to finish uni. I want you to get a degree and... I would love to see grandchildren, but just not right now, Fern. I'm still too young to be a grandfather, you know? And she's like, Dad, you sure you're still too young? I see gray hairs on you. <laughs> and I'm like, damn, Fern. <laughs> so yeah, Dad, this is Tatum. We're not dating. Don't worry. Tatum and I are definitely not dating at all. Oh, it really means a lot to me that you make time for me. Just wanted to let you know. Stop. Oh my god, that is so cute. Dad, I've missed you. I'm glad we're here. I would love to stay over, but Fern actually has plans and her excuse is like, oh yeah, I would love, you know, to sleep over and stuff, but I actually have a big presentation. I have a huge test and exams to study for. I would love to stay for the weekend, but I actually have to go back to campus but it was so good to see you guys i've missed you all so much but i will definitely see you all soon okay soon i promise y'all and she's like oh yeah dad here's everything that's been happening in uni this is me at the library this is the campus this is my you know classes these are my friends and he's like oh i'm glad you're having a good time but i'll miss you don't forget to visit I know you've been gone for so long. I thought you, you started forgetting about us, so I'm glad you made it today, but visit us again. How about next weekend? And Fern's like, yeah, 
Maybe next weekend, Dad. But I, I have to go. I have to go back. Love you. Love you guys. Wait, we have to say bye to Judy because Judy is all alone. Where is she? Judy! We have to say bye to you. I missed you so much. But I hope you're doing well. I hope parents have been not driving you crazy. <laughs> because willow love willow but she's definitely been really 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 clingy with us but judy it was so good to see you i miss you i'll come back soon as soon as i can okay we are finally back it's been such a long trip but we should probably do some of our homework that we haven't even done yet either so we might as well get that out of the way and just prepare for our date tomorrow and i kind of want to give fern like a cute outfit so i think we'll go and cast and give her like a super cute date outfit i really wonder where he's gonna take us i'm so curious fern are you curious i'm curious i'm so excited for you though okay perfect did we finish our homework yes girl yes okay so let's go into caps let's go give her another outfit she looks so cute maybe we'll like do her hair a little bit differently maybe put her braids like all the way down i love fern so much she's so pretty so it's been a long time since i've given fern a makeover and since then i've downloaded a lot of new custom content so this could be fun i feel like she wants to dress up really fancy but not too fancy uh maybe we have some full body outfits that we can give her that could be cute we can take off these glasses i'm gonna keep saying that but she's just so pretty i love her I really do. Oh, this could be cute. It's nice and casual, but like also kind of sexy because of the slit right here. And like she really likes the nude colors. So maybe we can do that and like do her makeup a bit more as well. Maybe different braid. Oh, that's kind of cute too. I don't know if I want to keep her braids up or down. Oh, that's also really cute. I like this. <gasps> that really shows off her pretty features. Like, look at her. Do you see her? Something like that, too. Yes, that's really cute. Honestly, I think this is a cute outfit. I really think this is like kind of casual, but also not too casual. It's a good in between and I love it. I think it's a cute date outfit. Fern's ready. Fern's ready for her date tomorrow. Look at her. She is so happy. I know you're sleepy, but you are a bit hungry. So let's go back to the commons and get something to eat before like we go to bed. Ask cup cleaning. Here, no. L let's just go. I bet one of your roommates will invite you out. Yep. It's Sonia, girl. Honestly, Sonia, thank you for coming with me and meeting my parents. I love my parents. I do. Don't get me wrong, but they are very, very <laughs> clingy. I just wish they would like leave me alone a little bit. Girl, You, I know you're exhausted, but we need you to go eat. Ooh, salmon for zero simoleons. Heck yeah, give me some. Okay, so after she got back from the commons to go eat, she actually has been feeling a little bit nauseous, a little bit sick. Like, look at her. She looks a little bit calm comfortable and i know they use protection but fern wanted to double check if everything's okay she has a weird feeling about this she's just like okay i'm just gonna double check i'm sure i'm just sick because of the salmon but i don't know she just has a, a weird feeling you're pregnant oh my god how does she feel though how does she feel about this she seems to be excited. You know what? This is a lot of information. Let's go to sleep, please. Fern woke up feeling violently ill as if something was pushing her insides all around. And she has cravings. Oh, oh my god. What do we do? Hold on. How do we tell Jacob? You have a date with him today. How do we tell our parents? How do we tell anyone? Girl, girl, take a shower. I'm just like left speechless right now. Oh my god, look at her with her pregnant belly. I'm glad she's excited, but how do we tell Jacob? How do we tell our dad? Who do we tell first? How is Jacob gonna react? How is our mom gonna react? 
Well, at least Fern isn't stressing out about it, but I am. Like, I don't even know how pregnancies through uni even work. Oh, we can't even get food. Is there food around here that we can buy? Yeah, order food, order to go. Let's go buy a chocolate croissant. What are we doing? What's happening? Why are you playing ping pong? Don't play ping pong. You are hungry. Go eat. You know, I feel like we have to call Jasper. If anything, I feel like she trusts Jasper the most. She's happy though, at least. Like, I'm glad she's not stressed, but I feel like we should invite Jasper. Oh, this might be a bad time, but I came back to our place and I seem to have locked myself out. Did you come home? No rush, but right now would be good. Oh, I'll try, but like, <laughs> I have another situation. Oh, Jasper, it's been forever. Oh my God. Okay, we have to share the big news and we have to tell him like in secret, basically. But uh, hi, I know this is feels like it comes out of nowhere, but I really, really, really needed to see you. And this is very, very important i'm so happy you're here and he's like yeah of course the phone call just seemed very very concerning and i tried to get here as soon as possible but yes jasper uh i don't know how to tell you this but i'm pregnant yeah <gasps> He seems to be excited, which is good. But he's like, how are you going to tell dad though? And she's like, that's the thing, Jasper. I visited them this weekend and I happened to ask dad if he would like grandchildren. And he's like, not anytime soon. And well, I'm pregnant. And now how do I tell him? How do we tell him? Jasper, I'm scared. You know what? Let's go add him to our group too. Let's go sit here, sit here and chat together. So Fern's just like, honestly, Jasper, I thought I'd feel more stressed. But Jasper's like, Fern, are you even ready for this? Were you even prepared? And Fern's like, no, obviously I was not prepared. But like, it feels weird knowing that I have a baby inside of me now. And he's like, oh my god. He kind of wants to yell at her right now. Like, look at that. He's thinking about like just screaming because like this is his little sister. So he's like, God, my dumb little sister got herself knocked up. And Jasper's like, okay, does the guy even know? And she's like, yeah, about that. <laughs> I, I was supposed to go on a date with him today. And he's like, okay, are you going to tell him? Well, yeah, I kind of have to know. And he's like, okay, but what about dad? You know, dad's going to be mad at you. And Brent's like, we'll deal with that later. You know, Jasper's like, oh yeah, look at that. He's like, Fern, I love you. Like, don't get me wrong. I love you. You're my little sister. You're my baby sister. But I don't know about this. I really don't know about this. And Fern's like, Jasper, please. You're the first person I told because you're the one that I could trust the most. Please do not tell dad. Please do not tell mom. I'm not ready to tell them yet. But I'll tell them eventually, I promise. Like right now, I still have to tell Jacob. And Jasper's like, okay. Look at him, he's judging her like crazy. And he's like, wow, I really can't believe I'm going to be an uncle already. And he's like, what about uni? Like, are you still able to take classes? And she's like, I don't know. I think after this term, I might have to leave after this term and take care of the kid, but I would still love to finish the degree. And I only have two days left of this term, so I think I'll be fine. Jasper's like, okay, whatever, Fern, but you're crazy. <laughs> Just know you're crazy. And good luck telling parents because dad's going to be very, very angry. But Fern's like, I know, I know, Jasper, but thank you. Thank you for coming over. Like, I know you've been really, 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 really busy, but I appreciate you coming here. Yeah, look at him. He's like, you're dead. You're dead once that finds out. And she's like, I know, I know. She's thinking about her dad too. Out of all of this, she's thinking about her dad. Okay, well, we were supposed to go on a date with Jacob. Is he gonna like show up? I'm waiting for like the call or something. <gasps> There's Jacob. So speaking of Jacob, hey Fern, it's me. So is that date still happening? And he's taking us to a restaurant? Well, we're all dressed up in our cute date outfit and we have really big news to tell him. So let's go. 
Okay, we are here. Hi, Jacob. Let's, you know, kiss him. I hope he- Oh, dang, girl! She went straight for that kiss. This day just keeps getting better. Okay, so far, he seems pretty oblivious, which I guess is good. Let's go request a table. How are we gonna tell him, Fern? How is this gonna happen? We got our table. Oh my god, look at him! He's all dressed up, too! Wow! Wow, okay, let's go order. So, well, obviously we can't really get these kind of drinks, so we're just gonna get water for ourselves. And then I feel like Jacob can get an iced tea, maybe. And then for food, ooh, I think we'll just get classic spaghetti and then he can get garlic noodles. That sounds delicious. Okay, so Burns like, hey, Jacob, I was actually gonna ask you out on a date myself but you did it first and he's like yeah i've been thinking about you since that night and i really wanted to see you again and i'm i'm so happy you said yes and she's like yeah of course i i've been thinking about that night too and i i've been really 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 wanting to you know hang out with you and all that oh hi friends ordering for them oh look at them so we'll tell him the news but basically we're just gonna catch up with jacob and we're slowly slowly going to bring up the subject so like we're gonna talk about his interests and then we saw our family this weekend and then maybe let's see what his thoughts are on kids too <gasps> you'd actually like having children Oh my god, Jacob! She's like, oh, I did not expect that, but that is great news. Okay, okay, Mr. Jacob, but he's like talking about uni and all that stuff and the cost of uni. And he's like, yeah, I would love to have kids, but maybe not right now. And then friend's like, yeah, I totally get it. She looks so sad. Girly, girly, okay, okay. But he got an adoring, he got an adoring sentiment. He adores her. We'll share the news as soon as we get our food. Thank you. Wait, where's my spaghetti? Wow, yummy. I, I just have water. What? Excuse me? Hello? My spaghetti? Yeah, we bought spaghetti. Are you serious? Okay, well, whatever. I hope your food is delicious, Jacob. <laughs> Jacob's like, okay, so why do you ask about kids? And then friend's like, well, uh, that night, I think something happened with the protection. The reason I, I asked if you wanted kids and your thoughts of kids, Jacob, is because I actually found out this morning that I'm pregnant. And he's like, what? You're joking. He's like, he's laughing, thinking she's like lying. And she's like, no, Jacob, I'm I'm serious. It came all positive and I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. And he's just like, what? He's shocked. But let's see. Happy parents, though. Burton's partner was delighted to hear about the pregnancy. Completely overjoyed, this child will bring them so much happiness. Fern is daydreaming it about it already. So, honestly, this is turning out better than I expected. I honestly thought Jacob would not be happy about it. But Jacob's like, okay, Fern, this is, this is actually crazy. This is actually, actually big news. But... Hey, I mean, if you want anything for the baby, if you need help, if you need me to organize or anything about that, I'll try my best. Because I know growing up myself, I grew up without a father and knowing that I'm going to be a father, I want to be the father I never had. So Fern's like, oh, Jacob. Honestly, I'm just relieved to hear that you're okay with the pregnancy and it's like a huge relief to hear that you want to be there for me and our kid and it makes me really really happy so yeah and i mean like why not at this point also make this official too <gasps> i had such a great time with you let's do it again soon yes uh, i think it's time for us to like officially make it exclusive too yes 
cute hold on oh my god you're in my way but i want to take a photo with jacob too look at that look at that cute that is so cute okay can we get another one of you two being cute i love these new selfies but it doesn't make sense to me that we're stuck in this like tiny square i don't get it I really don't get it. But that one's cute too. Oh, Fern needs to go to the restroom, but don't worry, Fern. And you never got your food. I'm pissed that you never got your food. But now the only issue is her dad. I'm really glad Jacob is fine with having a baby. Honestly, I was really shocked. I, I thought he wouldn't want a baby, but now Fern just doesn't know how to tell her dad. We will definitely figure that out in the next episode what a ride this episode was fern is pregnant that means we need baby names so if you have any baby name suggestions for miss fern definitely let me know in the comments below because it will help me a lot but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next video bye everyone